Peace. This is Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. I want to say this. That was a good young nigga that lost his motherfucking life. And if you come up from the motherfucking streets and the ghettos of America, and you black, you Spanish, with a system already trying to hunt us the fuck down, make sure you think about it before you go, before you kill a motherfucker that look just like you. So I want to say rest in peace to that young nigga. The extensions, nigga. We on some 2019, 20, 25, 30. We ain't killing each other no more, man. We get motherfucking money, man. So if you let any motherfucker from your neighborhood trick you out your motherfucking freedom about some petty shit and your life ain't on the line, you's a motherfucking clown, nigga. This the new age of black excellence. So if you down to get money, I need you to make some money. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So we heard Meek Mill using his platform, using his Billy pulpit to just speak a good word about keeping the peace amongst our people. And he basically said, you know, blacks and Latinos, we need to get it together. And he said that it's about black excellence. So I salute Meek Mill for using his stage, huh? For using his level of influence to speak a good word to the audience. And really in him doing that, all of those whom are underneath his voice, that's, it, that's a warning, that's a blessing that Meek gave to that audience. You know, to keep the peace. You know, each one of our lives have has extreme value on it because we come from a creator that did not make a mistake in none of our lives. The scripture says we have been born in sin and shaped in iniquity, meaning that we did not shape ourselves. The institutions of this world have modified us and edified us and sculpted us into the people that we are. But by nature, when we are left alone to be our natural self and not bothered and not put in an environment that is opposite to our nature, when our resources are not limited, then we can fully manifest who we are. But what you see right now from black and latino people sometimes in the worst of our manifestation of ourselves is the manifestation of our circumstances sometimes we manifest learned behavior right meaning we grow up in an environment all we see is drug dealing all we see is liquor drinking. All we see is pill popping. All we see is adultery and fornication. Well, you can tell a tree by the fruit it bears. Black people, Latino people, the scripture says we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. So it is the not the requisite knowledge of God and self. When you know who you are, you will do better by your brother and sister. When you know that you are God and you are made in the image and likeness of God. And the scripture says ye are all God's children of the most high God. Then when you see your brother triple extension. You won't hate him because God has elevated him because he's found his gift and giving it back to the world, you will applaud your brother because you know that the greatness that he manifests, that same greatness lies in you. So once we know that we all have great gifts, skills, and talents, then when we come in each other's presence, then we will honor and respect each other. We will treat our women like the queens that they are because any greatness that exists in the world came through the womb of a woman. Every man that exists today came through the womb of a woman. So why shouldn't we uplift the women in our communities? We each are valuable. 
because we come from a God that does not make mediocrity. You are not mediocre. In fact, scientists say to your odds of coming into this life were one in a hundred trillion. In fact, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us about how you were one sperm cell in a billion and you defied the odds. So God, even though out of all those sperm cells, your single cell connected with the germ, meaning you ran the pre-journey to come into this life existence. So life is supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be tough because it's supposed to bring out of you your own greatness. Huh? It's greatness in each and every one of us that's just screaming to come out. It's called the God force within. God only means force and power. Some people are manifesting more force and power than others. And the aim and purpose of this world is to not only destroy the man, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who's coming to wake up that God force in you, but it's to destroy you so that you don't come into the knowledge of who you are, so that you manifest your force and power. All of us have the potential to manifest that. But it starts with gaining access to knowledge. But the first and the greatest knowledge is knowledge of self. And once we know better, we will naturally do better. Once you see brother triple extension as God, you won't kill God. Once I see little brother in the hood as God, I will never disrespect God. Once you see your woman as a female God, you will never disrespect the female God. But that's the knowledge that we're missing in our communities that will make us whole and make us unto ourselves. Love one another, brothers and sisters. We're all we got at the end of the day. Don't, don't hate on your brother or sister. Uplift your brother or sister. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.